In this video, me and a few friends will be contesting one of the best caves in Ark from day one in a fresh wipe. This cave was contested by over 10 different tribes on a huge cluster. Also, most of you aren't subscribed. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe and help me get to 200k subscribers for no reason at all. Enjoy. It's up, guys. It's up. It's up. Loading mods. 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 This was all a matter of time, so I quickly got my name, created my character, and spawned in. Now, I had to get the kit Bloodstalker and swing myself to the pro cave really quickly. I got a Bloodstalker and I'm going. Now that I was outside, I decided to protect Mikkel and make sure that nobody got inside the cave while I was out. There's a guy naked here on the Bloodstalker. Alright, he's dead. I had just killed that guy when another guy came swinging by. Dude, no, que ponga torreta, que ponga torreta, bro, que ponga torreta. Oh, the DC. Right, that was a pretty close one. Luckily, I got back on my Bloodstalker, and now I had to heal up a bit. I got picked again. Sadly, when I got picked, I took some fall damage when he released me as well. I tried to whistle it passive so he came to me, but then another guy in a bloodstalker appeared from the left and kitted me. We were still fine though. All I had to do was get another kit bloodstalker, which was actually my last one, and a kit flak. And let's get right back to defending the outside. The situation outside didn't get any better. There were bloodstalkers as well as rexes, people grenading the ORP, and a lot of more stuff going on. I just picked up with a bloodstalker. Is it any of you? I'm the Terry, I'm the Terry. Get away okay, okay, from, I, get away I picked a bloodstalker, I picked a bloodstalker. I got paid! When I was jumping, this happened. Oh my god, my bloodstalker's gonna start eating me. What? I, I lagged. Now that I was out of bloodstalker kits, I had to use the Pteranodon kit, and hopefully I could go around picking people and helping my tribe mates. I had a bloodstalker here. That guy got away, but now there were gigas outside of the pro cave. Luckily, these gigas were ours from my tribe mate Carlos, who had a lot of points and bought vaults. And finally, I'd be getting invited into the tribe after this very laggy session. Perfect. Time to keep defending. Who's here? Who's here with flag? Pick this kid. What panther? He's dead. Moments later, a little war of dinos started. There's a guy in a Bloodstalker, which I picked. I was gonna drop, but since fall damage doesn't give timer, I decided to hold him for a bit while things cooled down. Back there in the lightning was T-Bone, our other teammate. Yeah, I have a kid picked. I'm just wasting his time. Okay, okay. There was another guy here in a Bloodstalker, which I had to take care of. But since he had a glider suit, killing him got a little more complicated. I have a kid picked, lightning him, lightning him, get on it. Oh, he got off. The inside was fine and we were steadily progressing. But we still needed to get rid of these foundations that were blocking the inside a bit. People just wouldn't stop coming. Now we had a guy in a lightning while we were after us. Want to get stabbed. If I pick him, you lightning beam me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying, trying to, I'm trying to. I picked him, I picked him, lightning beam. No, I lagged. I don't know where he is. There he is, there he is. He's low, he's low. Nice, nice, dead, nice. Dead, 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 dead. All right, invite me, Tebow. My bad. Later, we killed this lightning wyvern, and he had a pretty decent kid on him. Another enemy eliminated. Right after that, I decided to invite Tebow, get him in the tribe. Next step was to place some spam outside, make sure that nobody could just fob up instantly, and we had a little bit of time to realize that they were fobbing. Someone can just run up and demo them if there's not like something connected to it, like a wall Always? or not like another foundation. Yeah, uh, someone was typing my heart throw. I think it's that Bloodstalker. I saw a dolphin on the shore, and I saw something was about to come, but I didn't know from where. Oh, we're getting meat ran. We're getting meat ran. What's hey, the neutral? What's the neutral? Saddle Kigo. Kibon, I'm about to pick one. No, yeah, try. Go, go in the cave, if anything. Just if, if you can't. I picked one, Tibon. You need to come. Hang on, dude. And then I went into panic mode. My wyvern is so weak. Things weren't looking very good now. After me running our outside, they started demoing all the foundations, and I think 
they were about to fob us. Are we not able to go outside like no no way? No, I mean there's a Giga out front, saddle Giga. He's doing mad damage. Why would we want to A guy coming in, guy coming in. We're getting raided. Yeah, yeah. Hate this guy. He's not cutting the gravel. What the fuck? I see Span straight down to the ground, hoping that he would die to fall damage, but apparently this guy is Superman. They're blowing, they're blowing in here, guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm placing tech in. Everything is clear. You guys didn't tell me. Yeah, you can't use transfer tool. Wait, is that them with the fob outside? Yeah, they have a fob outside. While they were outside with the fob, we were still relaxed and we still had time. So now I decided to go farm some flint and stone to help out the tribe. I'm gonna try and start grappling them. Can't help it now. There he died. But apparently the attackers were winning the fight for now. After a little bit of flint farm, since you know obviously we had a fob outside, the way that I decided to put the flint and stone inside to the base was dropping it above them and then they could transfer to it. Then I went to the blue drop, I'm gonna transfer out, respawn on the base, and start defending. As you can see on the inside, they were already opening supply crates that they got from points. We got a little fob. And up here at the crouch point, we had, okay, nice lag. Up at the crouch point, we had some more turrets to defend, and we had a Giga as well. We needed to use Bloodstalkers and Grapples to keep this base secured. Yeah, it takes me like that. Okay, well, mistake number one. I got away though, which I got. Holy shit. The keyboard in the background is Carlos, keyboard warrioring as usual. Do you have a whip? Do you have a whip? Bear trap. <laughs> <I'm so happy. laughs> the bear trap. <laughs> oh fuck. Yo, do you not you wanna like place these tanks a little better now? Push them back back a, a bit if you can. I thought the placement of the techs were a little bit odd. I figured they'd place them down in a rush. And uh you know I thought it was a time for a change. Time to place them a little better. After that, probably the most boring one, but another strat. I just sat on the gear and started munching to prevent them from doing anything, basically. Good. It was pretty funny to see my tribe mates get stuck on bear traps every now and then. They said they're molest, they said they're molest. Mike, what the fuck? Want to still skip and cap tech quick settle? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my friend. Enjoy your time and your stay. Oh, nice pick. Blue bring the Avaeta. I kept trying to check the inventory, but T Bone kept taking the body. Sorry, couldn't get that part of the content. Oh, now I can. Nice. Wow, insane. I'll be back in a little bit. Oh. Okay, oh. Well played from Mike there, cutting the Bloodstalker grapple, allowing him to be slower and, you know, not dragging him directly into our turrets. And then I tried to grapple his body, but okay, there, finally. Jesus. Oh, a second one bites the dust. And then we got a Basilisk from a drop, making things slightly harder. And for the cherry on top, let me just sit on the Giga and bite on the entrance. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I've gone already through like 16 different ways of defending this. Went from blast basilisk to giga to grapples to bolas to bear traps. And you know now I'm sitting in a blood stalker. Actually I'm gonna set it on aggressive. I think that's gonna be much better. So yeah. Another method. But well, the best and final defense method is obviously the offense. The best defense. That's a lot of defense in one sentence. I should stop saying it. Anyways, the plan was for each of us to take a Giga, TP to our outside TP, come from behind with our Gigas, and raid these guys once and for all. Let's do it. Oh, the TP over here. Okay, everyone get on a stalker. Yeah, yeah. Boy. Yeah. Let's go lava cave. Let's go cave. I can tell you guys, four of us together going to counter this fob was one of the nicest and sweetest rides to victory. Let's go get them. Look at my streaming, you'll see where we can meet. The I two, see, two I rivers. See, I see. 
Nice, we can meet at the blue drop. There's a blue drop there. Yeah, meet at the blue drop. It's right above, so be, be careful. But meet at the blue drop, everyone. Uh, that blue that's been there. That's been there for a while. I'll leave it there. Okay, still three heavy. Shit, fuck. Blood Wyvern, Blood Wyvern, run, run. They're farming, they're farming. As soon as I heard that, I decided to run down. Get under the bridge and stay here hidden. I'm here. Okay, okay we're, here, we're here. Throw your gigas. Throw your gigas, everyone. Oh, oh, they have rocket run. Okay, they're going in with rockets. No way. Okay, let's go. Let get ready. Get ready. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Don't level it now, bro. Oh. Yeah, I'm going. Going. Sorry. What is love? Lately, I've been wondering just what is love. Yeah, we don't have much ammo. The plan was the Carlos and the Golem to get off of it, block the turrets, and take down the fob. Push, 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 fob's gone, fob's gone. Someone in entrance, someone stay in entrance, someone stay in entrance. The rest of you. Pinky, get in front of the entrance, they get perfectly positioned, so I'll leave, because I don't know, this is kind of weird where I am. Aim straight at it. Transmitter gone. Go back, and there, stay there. I'm gonna start demo the foundations one by one. Keep an eye out. In the blink of an eye and good teamwork, our main enemies got wiped right out of our base. And now we are free to continue farming and upgrading the base. The next thing to do was take out my Arthro and start demolishing all of their spam, then place our own. And then once again, hopefully for the last time, I place my own spam outside. Later on, me and T-Bone had some more resistance to do. T-Bone, lightning, lightning. Yeah, 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 I see. Uh, hold up. The ping, bro. Holy. Poor guy, holy fuck. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I got out of the way and T-Bone's like, nah, fuck it, Tara. <laughs> oh, ping, like. Take them again. Yeah, right. Another kuchar. Lightning him, lightning us, lightning us. Nice. Next thing on the list was to farm crystal. So I brought a Doed and an RG. And the Doed has a solo farm mod only on this server, which allows me for fast and quick farming. Easy crystal, boys. I was just farming and then a guy wanted smoke out of nowhere. Rest in peace, Chris. I think I farmed enough crystal by now, and there were a lot of people here, so I didn't want to risk losing everything. So I took everything that I had and dipped. Now, my name is Imian. So as soon as I played for more than one hour and farmed for more than five minutes, guess what was itching? Yeah, the desire to go to Golem. Let's get some BPs, baby. Let's see what I got from this golem. Yikes. Nothing good. Rip. Luckily, there were other rags on the server. Except this time, somebody had done the golem for me. There's a guy here. I'm gonna wait till he's slower and then I'm gonna spray him. Hey, Shadow State is sniping. You can literally kill him. He do he's not gonna have good flex, trust me. Oh, late now. Insane aim with the Fabi. He bowled me and I thought I was gonna get pumped or something, but no, the guy started launching literal cluster grenades at me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be dead. I don't like you. He doesn't have boots, I think. Not gonna lie, that was a pretty close one. But it came with a lot of profit. Oh my 
god, and I'm dead in the grab. Wait, there's oh no, there's diseases here. We all know how this ended. Come on, don't don't make me show it. Okay, I'll show it. Fine. Good. Okay. <laughs> there were people inside the golem, and there were people outside of the golem. The PvP was just insane. <laughs> But sometimes even I with the bolos get bolo and it's not good because I just realized that this server's bolos are 30 seconds. The guy Ebola died, and the other guy was a melee build with a pretty good pike. So that didn't end well for me. Me and Carlos ran through the golem again, killed it very fast with the tech rifle. And well, we got nothing from the golem once again, rip. But somebody had just come in, because as you can see on the top of my screen, was a cooldown. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I forgot that other players know how to bolo, so I didn't count on him boloing me on my boots. But luckily, Carlos grappled him, took him down to the lava, and he died. Rest in peace, Jeremy. Yet, another guy came in. Either bola shotgun or bola tech rifle, you're not getting alive with two guys bullying you. I found another guy, but this time I couldn't do much. I was using a fabby and he was using a shotgun. In this situation, the shotgun is much more preferable. This guy camped me for like 10 minutes and then decided to run away. And I was sick of him, so I ran after him and decided he was gonna die today. That guy, I don't think he missed a single shot with the Fabby. <laughs> Literal Fabby gun. As per usual, the PP was insane, and there was another guy here, once again. But, Bollard, Tech Rifle plus Shotgun didn't last very long. Rest in peace. Further in the cave, there were more people still. He had a gold. Oh, guys, 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 Two people. Bola, Bola, Bola. Three people. The shield. Run back, run back, Emian. Run back, run back, Emian. Run back. At least two of them had to uh, trust them. That guy is fucking hurt. I have never PvP'd like this, so not gonna lie, I was a bit clueless in this situation. I'm lagging, I'm lagging. Oh, let's go inside, my legs are shit. Go in, go in, man, go in. Oh my god, I'm over here. me, with me. Fast. you. Baller one. Bowling him was a bit useless considering he had a tech chest piece. Rip.
I'm chest piece. Oh, no chest, no chest, no chest. Oh. Alright, I can mull her now, he's dead. Shield, shield, shield. Oh, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. You're good, you're good. Whip him, whip him. He fell, he fell. I grappled him in him. <laughs> nice. It means still in Bola. With 10 seconds left on my Bola and half HP, I thought that since the HP stats here are higher, I would be fine from a comp, so I just kept proning. Apparently that registered, I don't know why. And yeah, getting cocky didn't help. Grapple the one. Can't, I can't grapple, now dude. <laughs>